no slacking, back again, and today we're working on Hiza Guruma, okay? It's gonna be a knee block, so as they try to take a step forward, I block their knee and they collapse. If you watch the movie Big Daddy, the kid that put the stick in between the probes of the bicycle and the people flew out, same concept, let's check it out. Okay, um, very good throw. I don't really utilize it too much, but I have seen some people use it very, very successfully. I just don't care too much for it, but that's the beauty of all these training styles is that you, as you get to another level, you do the moves that you like that fits your body and you adapt it to your style. So I might teach you this way and you might have a tweak to do it another way, which is pretty awesome, right? And if anybody tells you that's wrong, Cut them off. All right, here we go. So, my goal with this, sorry about that, the grips. The grips are gonna be the same. A lot of the regular grips, high collar grip with the right hand, and then the left hand is gonna go uh, right behind your tricep, and then grip be gripping like such. Uh, also, this is actually some of the grips that I don't even use anymore. Uh, it's very basic gripping, very effective, but I just use different kind of grips for me personally. Anyways, so this is what we got going on. So what I want to do with this move is I'm going to be stepping out to the side, okay? Completely out of uh, line of her coming straight. And my toe has to point toward her. Why? Because as I step out, I'm going to be bringing my leg up with, again, this part of the foot, which I washed for the camera. Um, the goal is to stop her knee from stepping, right? So I'm not trying to like Muay Thai kick her in the knee or anything like that. And if I step right into the side, pointing towards her, it makes it easier to turn versus if I would have stepped like this and now I need to take her this way, I can already feel my knee straining, okay? Which is not good. So what I want to do is I want to step to the outside of her foot and then I'm blocking her knee, okay? And the hand motion, I'm going to be pulling her, okay? Because this is going to be my power hand again, and I'm going to be pulling with this hand as well, okay? So here we go. I'm going to step out, pull, block, okay? I like to go just above the knee. And this is a drill that you can do to just get the motion down before you jump into it, all right? And always let your partner know, are you ready? I mean, I guess. Good. Love when they say that. All right. So she guessed right, but she has to be ready. And I'll do the throw right now. Now, I can't emphasize enough that you have to have uh, a partner that is helping you out. Because the last thing you want is for them to lock their knee out and you block their knee. And now they hyperextend their knee. Okay? So you have to communicate with your partner. And this is where it's a good drill to do is just that. Step to the side, block the knee. Not only that, you'll get used to feeling where their kneecap is, okay? And if the person is shorter or taller, you're gonna have to adapt to that as well. That way you don't injure your partner. So one more time with this room up. Again, what I'm doing, I'm stepping out. Boom. Just outside, pointing towards her. Pulling her because I'm wanting her to take this step with her left or her right leg. Okay? So we're gonna take that step with the right leg. That way she doesn't fall. And you can see I'm pulling hard, I'm looking at my watch. I don't know why people look at their watch like this, but that's what they teach you to do, right? Put your watch, yeah. Alright? Yeah. So I step and pull. Alright, so one more time. That way I don't have to keep killing Salome with all the moves. But that's Pisa Guruma. Uh, guys, don't forget to like, to comment, to subscribe to the channel, and if you guys have any questions, that's what the comment box is for. I'd love to uh, help you guys better your judo, your sambo, your jiu-jitsu, whatever I can.